<laughs> Hello everyone, how you doing? Great. Happy Hanukkah! I'm really excited um, for all of you to be here. Um, it's such a great um, occasion, not because of my birthday, but it's the beautiful holidays. We're all together at peace and, and celebrating all the different uh, religious holidays and festivities. And um, I'm just really happy that my birthday is in December. <laughs> How many December babies do we have in the house? Yeah. Happy birthday to all of you. Um, I'm going to be quick. Um, you know, you know, typically, you know, I don't like doing these things, but I find myself doing all these events, whether it's in Puerto Rico, <laughs> whether it's in New York, whether it's, you know, somewhere else. But it's always good to get the community together. And if you notice on my, my cardboard and all the people who were supporting me, there weren't any elected officials outside of the district leaders um, because I wanted to uh, commemorate our community. I wanted to get support from the people that I have to answer to. And not only in my district, but people who have been really um, um, contributing towards the way we live, our quality of life. And so um, I just want to say thank you to all of you. Thank you, community. Let's give it up to the small business uh, Caribbean Social. Thank you, Jason. I want to give it up to all the volunteers, my team, and then also I want to give it up to the labor. Labor has been very supportive. So thank you, labor. And now I just want to take this time to really introduce um, someone who's no stranger to all of us. Uh, we call him the people's mayor. Yeah. Yes. He is the person, that one man, who's been leading New York City to a progressive, a progressive path. He has done so many for the rich, the poor, the middle class. He has done so much for labor, for businesses. He has done so much for the broad spectrum because he believes in everybody uh, living side by side. But let's talk about the progressive things that he's done. He's been really promoting equity, equity in everything that we do, equity in education. No one has rolled out an education model like this man, Mayor Bill de Blasio. Mm -hmm. With universal pre-K. And I will tell you, with universal pre-K, that not only allowed our children to get a head start in education and learning, but it also allowed many of us, working families who are working two, three jobs, who cannot afford to daycare or anything, but it allows many of us to continue to work while our children are progressing. So we wanna thank him for that. We wanna thank him for the affordable housing um, um, efforts that he's done across New York City. We wanna, we wanna, uh, really uh, applaud him for the economic justice. I've worked hand in hand with Mayor de Blasio on Minority Women Business Enterprise and night no other mayor. Him and I have been able to really pass some really landmark bills to help our city move to make sure that minority and women owned businesses get a fair share. And as a result of that, awards and of eligibility for minority women business enterprise have skyrocketed, okay? And we, there's a lot more to do. We wanna increase the threshold. We wanna thank Bill de Blasio for a lot of the pushback on misconduct when it came to police reform, okay? Police misconduct, and he was the first one. He was the first one who stopped and said, hey, we cannot abuse the people in our community, especially the low income and minority folks being racially profiled. Remember that? He was yeah. the only mayor who stood up for us, and we want to thank him for that. We want to thank him for uh, uh, paid sick leave, okay? Something that all of us need, especially now. We want to thank him for all the contracts that he had settled with all the labor unions, something that no other mayor has done. Let's give it up. Let's give it up. Let's give it up to the mayor. Woo! The mayor has been on point with climate change and environmental free, uh, environmental friendly projects. The mayor has been a key advocate in making sure that all of us are engaged. 
He has been the people's mayor. So I am really, really excited that he's here. He was here when I first got elected. Yeah. Okay. And he came mayor. And, and he's still here. Okay. And he ain't going anywhere. So with that, we want to thank Mayor de Blasio for all that he's done. And thank you, Mayor de Blasio, for blessing me and blessing our community with your presence. Let's give it up to Mayor de Blasio! I want to say something about Rodney's. Say it. To know her is to love her. Right. Uh -huh. Rodney's is so, such a person of heart, soul, and kindness, and she's real. Yeah. And I tell you something, years and years ago when I first met her, I said, this is not someone who just wants to be a politician. This is a true community leader, voice of the people who wants to transform this community and this city and this state. And guess what? She has proceeded to do that. Yeah. And we all are here to honor her for that, right? Yeah. yeah. What you see is what you get. Yeah. She, right. she aims to change the world and she's doing it. And so when I think of this time of year, I think about Thanksgiving, I think about Christmas, and I think about Rodney's birthday. <laughs> the big three, the big three of this time of year. Everyone, I want to thank you. I'm going to be very quick. I want to thank you for standing by Rodney's. Because when you get a leader this good, you have got to help her continue to be great. You have to be there for her. She is just beginning to realize the potential that she has in her to change the lives of people in this district, in this borough, in this whole city, in this state. And when you think about what she has done, I'm gonna tell you every step of the way, when we had the biggest challenge with COVID, I walked the streets of this community with Radice and I saw what she was doing to protect her constituents from COVID, frontline, hands on. And it made a huge difference. I wanna tell you, she is one of the reasons why in this city today, we are not only leading the state, we are leading the country in terms of the number of people vaccinated. This city is showing the whole world how to stay safe from COVID. We got new challenges now. We've got new challenges and they are profound. Everybody, I'm gonna beseech you. If there's a young person in your life who's not yet vaccinated, please, we need them vaccinated. If anyone in this room or anyone you know needs that booster and qualifies, we need you to get that booster. We need to save lives. We've got a new challenge with Omicron. We need to take it seriously. And everyone's gotta be a part of it. Rodney's was out front helping to protect the community. That's one, I wanna tell you another. When we built the pathway, not just to pre-K for all, but 3K for all. We needed allies in Albany who would fight against the status quo and make change happen and get us the resources. I turned to Rodney's. Uh, she doesn't take no for an answer when it comes to our children and what they need. She is one of the reasons we got pre-K for all and 3K for all. all right. And then when it comes to the support and the empowerment of MWBs, this is just straight up, the best sense of the word, wealth redistribution. Mm -hmm. If we talk about building generational wealth, it means supporting these businesses, righting the wrongs, it means billions and billions of dollars, government money that has to move now to these businesses. City of New York right now, $25 billion plan. Why are we able to put $25 billion in the hands of MWBs? Why? Because we believe it can be done, of course. Because we told all those people in those agencies, all those bureaucrats, you have to do it. But the other reason is because we had Rodney's yeah. leading the way in Albany and getting us the laws that allowed us to actually redistribute that wealth where it was needed. She made that possible. So I'll conclude with this. Talk about a difference maker. And in her spare time, she unified all of Brooklyn, and she got married. <laughs> <laughs> and she's going to law school. <laughs> I'm like, when do you eat or sleep? I do not understand it. 24 hours. 24 24 hours, hours that's it. <laughs> but I know as we welcome the Attorney General, I know we are all... <laughs> we are of one mind in this room. And here's the simple way of saying it. What a blessing. 
Rodney's is for all of us. Rodney, God bless you. Yeah. Yeah.